Welcome everyone to JavaScript Programming Language Course for Beginners. This video is an introduction to JavaScript. You will also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this entire JavaScript course. Coming up next are the prerequisites in this lesson. We have the map server, Apache server, Sublime Text Editor, the Google Console, the HCDocs folder, and localhost 8888. These folders and applications should be active in your machine at the background. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs, and these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. This video is section 2.2 of the JavaScript course, part 1. This covers all six main variable types and the difference between primitives and objects. In this slide, we'll create variable underscore types.html file inside of chapter 2 folder. So once you have created that file, right-click on that file, then open it in Sublime Text. Variable types HTML is now open in Sublime Text, as you can see. So the localhost 8888 and Apache server should be active as well at the background while working on our scripts. In this lesson, some variables will be reviewed, but we'll go into a little bit more detail than usual. The six main variable types are, first is the numbers, second we have booleans, next is the strings, fourth we have the objects, fifth is the arrays and functions and we'll go through them in details one at a time. For numbers, we have var num equals five. That's pretty simple. Numbers are, used to, are actually primitive and so are booleans and strings. So primitive means a data type that is not an object and has no methods. Again, primitive means a data type that is not an object and has no methods. Next, we'll save Sublime Text, refresh the browser and run the console and we'll see what's. In the console tab, will type my num and then press and and so next are the booleans so an example we have here var happy equals true that's easy then we'll save sublime text refresh the browser and run the console and let's see what will so type happy there in the console tab, then press enter key and happy equals true. Now we re will replace booleans to var warning, as you can see. And then type warning in the console. Warning is not true and we have an error there. Now let's go to strings. Strings are created by putting character in between codes. So we have var my name equals Elden. Codes can be either single code or double codes. We cannot mix the codes. 
single or double or you'll get an error. Sometimes it's better to use double quotes if we'll use this one. Take a look at the example here. So I have double quotes before and after Elden's computer and a single quote is used in Elden's. That's because in this example, the single quotes would be considered the closing of the string if we start it with single quotes. That's why we get an error. Generally speaking, we would like to have single quotes unless we have an apostrophe in our string. So let's save Sublime Text, refresh the browser, and run. And you type my name in the console tab, and you'll see your name there. Now let's go to Objects. Objects are a little bit more complicated because it has methods in it. This is a sample variable being set equal to an object, literal. Simply an object with nothing inside of it. So it's just an object, literal. So let's save Sublime. Refresh the browser and then run the console. So we have my dog. It's an object. It's actually an object literal. So if you see the button down there, just click on that and you'll be able to some prototype chain with some methods. So object literals and curly brackets are objects with, which means which contains nothing. Now we can put things inside of this object. And here's an example. Um, my var my dog name Fido bark function and alert woof. So object key value pairs and these are functions. Okay, those are the differences. Now we'll type my dog in the console and sure enough, name Fido, alert, bark. So far we have covered numbers, booleans, strings, and objects. in as a variable types and let's move on to arrays to use an array simply use the open and close bracket we can put anything we want into an so these are arrays with a bunch of strings var pets equals barney bimbo and bruno one interesting note, if you create an array filled with only one kind of object, the browser will optimize that. The code will run slightly faster. Generally, it's a good idea to keep your data type simple inside of an array. We'll learn more about arrays in the upcoming lesson. So let's save Sublime Text and refresh the browser and run console. And you will see their dear pets, an array we have Barney, Bimbo, and Bruno. So let's save again and refresh the browser and run console. So in the prototype for dear pets array, please click on that button there and you will see prototype chain is an object with interesting methods. Ultimately, they are just objects. Lastly, we're going to functions. And we'll discuss functions in the next video. For today's classwork, we will use the internet to search and read more 
about variable types in JavaScript. Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about variable types in JavaScript. Thank you for watching this video.